decision day and Praveen Halapanavar came to the finale of the inquest on what should have been a special occasion for him and his beloved Savita. Today was actually our wedding anniversary, so it's, it's, it's even more hard. Savita Halapanavar, seen here in happier times with her husband, was admitted to the University Hospital in Galway last October, miscarrying. She died a week later of multiple organ failure brought on by septicemia and the E. coli virus. Her requests at the hospital for an abortion were refused because there was no threat to her life then, but by the time there was, a termination would have been too late to save her. The inquest heard of poor communication between staff members, blood test results not followed up and other failures. The coroner, Dr. Kieran McLaughlin, gave the jury of six men and five women two possible verdicts. The first, a narrative, outlining what happened with no apportioning of blame. The second, medical misadventure, again with no apportioning of blame, but with a suggestion that there were failures in Savita's health care. The jury unanimously reached a verdict of medical misadventure. They also supported a recommendation from the coroner, seen here, for clearer medical guidelines as to when an abortion can be legally carried out. Afterwards, Praveen said he still had questions as to why Savita died, but he made this observation about her treatment. Very and inhuman, the way Savita was treated in that hospital. Praveen solicitors said the death of the 31-year-old Indian dentist raised serious concerns. It's an extremely worrying situation uh, for women in Ireland that should go to a hospital suffering from a miscarriage and to be told that they must wait until they are gravely ill or until the baby is delivered before there will be medical intervention should they be suffering from sepsis. The hospital accepted there were failures, but said it had put in place procedures to deal with the shortcomings revealed. As Praveen Halapanavar returns to a lonely house, attention will now turn to the doil in the coming weeks, as it debates proposed but contentious legislation on abortion. Shane Harrison, BBC Newsline, Galway.